what is up youtube so today i'm just going to break down my upper body dynamic warm-up and you know stretching routine before i do all of my upper body lifts any kind of workout you know using my shoulders um my back my traps everything like that so i normally start as far as warming up from the head and neck down so i'll start with these head rolls just rolling my head all the way around and i'll go both directions I'll do about five times each way, just kind of loosening up, you know, any kind of tension that you may have in your neck and in your traps, just kind of going down into the shoulders. After that, I'll do shoulder rolls. So I'll go forward and then backwards, and I'll do 10 times each way just to kind of get the shoulders nice and loosened up, still working on those traps a little bit. And then I'll move into front and back stroke. So I will go both directions with both arms, just loosening up that shoulder joint just some dynamic stretching, just to kind of get everything loosened up before we add any weights. After these forward and back strokes, I'll just do some torso rotations, torso twists, just kind of getting into the low back a little bit, just kind of loosening up. Um, like I said, just moving through these, mo these motions before we do any kind of weight training, um, just getting the, the muscles nice and limber. After these, I'm not really sure what these are called, <laughs> but they remind me of like a scarecrow but I just do palms up and then I'll fold down, just trying to keep my elbow and my shoulders at like a right angle. And I'll just open up, down and up, just kind of loosening up those shoulders into that shoulder girdle and rotator cuff. And then we move into good old arms circles. So I start with small circles, palms up, and I'll go forward, you know, 10 or 15, and then I'll go backwards, same thing. Just getting these shoulders nice and warm. These are something that are very underrated and they burn really bad, you know, the longer you do them. But I just start small, palms facing up, and then I'll switch into big circles and I'll point my fingers down, um, fingertips towards the floor, and just make really big circles, really opening up those shoulders into the chest. I first saw these on a P90X video years ago when I was doing some of those P90X videos and Tony Horton always says something about looking like you look like you're a pterodactyl <laughs> trying to flap in your wings. But those really do get the shoulders good and warm. And then I'm just doing some wrist circles, just rotating my wrists, getting those loosened up. Um, if you have any kind of hand or wrist problems, that's a good thing to do. Just kind of get that joint nice and loosened up. And then we just do some good old huggers, alternating which arm I have on top and on bottom. Just hugging around, just getting everything nice and loose. After that, we move into some band work. So I love using a resistance band. You can use a like PVC pipe or just like a very lightweight, you know, bar or pipe that you may have. But the band allows you, you know, if you're really tight, you don't have a lot of flexibility or mobility, it allows you to kind of have some leeway when you're doing these. But I'll just go keep my arms, you know, straight, go all the way overhead and back down behind me and then coming back over to the front. And then I'll switch and do these going around the sides and then going all the way down in the back and just coming back up. So these are great for, you know, the front delts, rear delts, just getting everything good and warm, increasing some mobility, just opening everything up. After these, I'll adjust my band and do a reverse fly. So I have just a, like a loop band, but you can just use a single band, you know, with handles. You just put your hands through the handles and choke up on the band where you're holding, you know, the tube itself and just choke up where your hands are close enough together where you feel the tension when you pull back. I'm just having my elbows slightly bent. You can do them fully straight, but this is just working the rear delts. I normally do about 15 of these. Getting your rear delts good and fired up are great before you do any kind of shoulder work or back workout. And then I'll move into a banded like lap pull down variation. So mimicking just like a cable lap pull down just using this band, driving my elbows down, squeezing my lats as I pull down. And just as anything with the band, you adjust your hands to make it you know, easier or harder. So just pulling straight down to get my back good and loosened up. And then after that, I move into just a banded bicep curl. So I just stand on the band, grab it both sides, and just curling up, just kind of getting everything good and primed before I lift any weights. Resistance bands are great for warming up and also just for workouts in general, but I love using a band for a warm-up. I've been doing this for probably 
about a year now and I really enjoy doing a dynamic warm-up with a band just kind of mimicking some of the exercises I'm going to be doing in my workout but just with a lighter resistance and kind of getting everything nice and warm and then I'll just move into doing an upright row so just pulling straight up getting those shoulder caps nice and warmed up just getting the blood to the areas that you're fixing to work um, it's good to you know mimic the movements you're going to be doing in your workout so those muscles are nice and primed before you you know go into your heavier weights then I just kind of did a couple head rolls to the side and holding you know after you do upright rows or anything with your shoulders your traps or your neck may start to tighten up so I just kind of did a little head roll to kind of get that loosened up and then I'll move into two different like static stretches so that dynamic stretches are great to do before you work out static are better for after but since I did already you know I'm good and warmed up at this point I just did these couple little chest and back stretches to get everything just kind of loosen up a little bit more so I just held these you know palms in the back opening up that chest driving my hands to the floor and then moving into this um, upper back stretch but I hope you guys enjoyed this voiceover. Please like the video, leave a comment down below.